goodness. How do you do? Good, good. I'm Welcome happy to the show. To be here. Well, we're very happy to have you, and boy, you're just beautiful. Just lovely. Thank you. Now, now when you're this beautiful, do you get tired of people saying, <laughs> oh my God, you're beautiful? No, no, because people don't react like you just reacted. <laughs> no. <laughs> ah. Well, maybe says more about me than you. <laughs> Uh, well, anyway, welcome to the show. I'm so happy you're, you're here because we've wanted to have you on for years and years, and it's a great thrill to see you in person now. I'm very happy also to come. Yeah. I was always a little scared because little scared? because I'm shy, and at the beginning when I started my career in America, I was, was always saying no to talk shows, and I felt always a little intimidated by you. Uh, now I feel very comfortable. Good, sit, good. Sit, comfortable <laughs> sitting here. Um, but I, I remember when I came to America watching the show and always thinking, wow, those people have big balls to be able to sit there <laughs> and talk to you. <laughs> so today I have them too. <laughs> you know, it used to be a requirement, but we... <laughs> we wa we've waived that. But you know, you, you said something interesting. I, I think... Um, what? Uh, I, I think if, uh, if, I, if I were a, a, a movie star like yourself, uh, and a world famous around the world, I, I wouldn't go on shows like this at all. Well, it's fun. Now I like it. Well, you I'm glad you're here, and I don't want to discourage you. And we'll see how it goes. I, I hope you come back. I will. I will. I will. But now, now you, you actually, you're from Spain. You're born where in Spain? In Madrid. Beautiful city, isn't it? Mm, I love my city. I yeah. miss it so much. And uh, you started as a, an actress early then in Madrid? I, I started acting when I was 16. 16 years old. Mm. And is this something that your family helped you get started with or something you wanted to do on your own? Mm, no, I, when I, I started dancing since I was four. And for many years I wanted to be a dancer and then... One day I saw an Almodovar's movie, Time Me Up, Time Me Down, mm -hmm. and I wasn't allowed to see that movie, but I went secretly by myself, and I came out and I said, okay, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to get an agent, and I wanna become an actor so that one day I can work with him. Right. And I'm preparing my third movie with him now, so wow. sometimes well, congratulations. some dreams come true. So, yeah. And, and when you started dancing as a, as a young child, was it a form of uh, recreation? It was it exercise? Or what was your interest in dancing? Well, I had so much energy at home and in school, which I never think is a bad thing. You just have to, when a kid is like that, you just have to give him away so that he can channel that energy and do something with it. Right. They, 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 when I finished school, like at 5 o'clock, they didn't know what to do with me. I was <laughs> terrible as a kid. I was always getting in trouble, so they said, Choose from a sport. What do you want to do? Something mm -hmm. that makes you exhausted by the time you come home. Right. So I, I chose to go to, to ballet. Right. And I loved it. And I did it for like four hours a day until I was like 17, 18. Well, I, I, I bet you were stunning as, as a ballerina. I bet that was a great thing to see. Well, I was I, yeah. very young. It was, oh. well, just, you can be a bit 17. You said you did it until you were 17. Yeah, no, no, when you, were, when you were four, you were cute. When you were 17, you were stunning. <laughs> I, uh, but, but, you know, you raise a good point because I, I think the situation here in, in the United States is that children tend to be very, very active and have a, a great deal of energy, and that, that's the nature of kids, as you yourself mm -hmm. experience. Mm -hmm. But here in this country, we, we sedate them, we, we drug them. I, well, I'm and, so and happy they, you They're walking around I'm, gooned on stuff all the time. That is something that I absolutely hate. Like, if I would have been raised here in these years, right now, in America, with the behavior that I had in school, asking too many questions and sure. too curious about everything, they would have called my parents and say, your, your kid has ADD, OCC, right. I mean, yeah, exactly I right. completely exactly right. hate yeah. that. And they yep. do it to so many millions of children, yeah. so I'm happy you... When, I, when I, I was a kid, when I was about four or five years old, I was just like you, and I had... <laughs> Sorry, can you say that again? <laughs> and I had excessive energy. And so every day uh, I would run from, I lived in Indianapolis, and every day before dinner I would run uh, to Muncie and back. How long would that take? About 60 miles. In how long would that take you in time? Oh, so, you know, I'd take my time. It was a two or three hour run, really. 
Okay. And, and you know, it's interesting. I want to talk more about this movie, Sahara. What a lovely, exotic location. And you actually filmed it in the Sahara Desert, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, we shot in the desert like for three months. Yeah. And then we shot in my country for one month and then in England. Mm. And is it fun when you're doing something like that? Because I looked at the movie and I thought, wow, this is a lot of work. It, it really is more than just memorizing lines and stuff. It's, it's quite physical and exhausting, I would think. Yeah, but it's a lot of fun. It's my first time doing an action adventure movie for the whole family you know and when i read it because i i received some before but i always felt that they were not interesting enough or the female character was there running around confused you know mm -hmm. and, and they were not good enough and i read this one and i felt the script was so smart and so funny the movie is really funny and you feel like it's a little bit like the, the tone and the energy of Indiana Jones. Mm -hmm. And I That's miss right. movies like that, you know. And it's uh, Matthew McConaughey and uh, Steve Zahn. Steve, very, yes. Very, very funny. Now, you know, uh, our cue card uh, boy, Tony Mendez, uh, speaks uh, Spanish. You, of course, speak Spanish. Would you mind just chatting a little bit? Because I love to hear... <laughs> Tony, do you mind talking to Penelope? Okay, so what do you want us to talk about? Well, Anything? Whatever you guys want to talk about. Sure. Sí, bueno, me encanta Nueva York porque viví aquí durante dos años en el Village ah, sí, y es una de mis ciudades favoritas. ¿Qué beautiful. está haciendo él? ¿Qué, está, ¿Qué hace? Es beautiful. <laughs> Oye, lo que te voy a decir. Wait a minute. Que no me metas conmigo porque eres un artista de cine. No puedes venir aquí a faltarme el respeto. ¿Qué te ha creído? Hyperactive. I know you wanted me to scream back at him. No, but... no, it's fine. He's he's hyperactive. We've got to get him, <laughs> get him medicated. Uh, a friend of yours is on the show off in the Selma Hayek, and she was telling us about a, a horrifying experience the two of you had in a, in a plane ride. You were flying from somewhere in Mexico back to Los Angeles. Was that what it was? From or? Los Angeles to Mexico. Los Angeles to Mexico. Halloween. Halloween, yeah. And it was uh, like an emergency in, in the sky, right? Yes, we were like... Halloween, wearing masks and wigs and looking at fashion magazines, la la la, going. And then the the, um, the stewardess said, "It's uh, this pressurization in the cabin." How do you say that word? Pressurization. That's right. Yes. Pressurization. And our mask came down. And we had an emergency landing that was one of the m most scary things that I have experienced in my entire life. But. I heard Salma did an imitation of me when she was here. Yes. Because, yes, yes. How was it? Yes. She, it was, well, I don't know. I had not met you at the time, so I can't, can't say whether it was right on the money or not. I, well, <laughs> I think she was right about me being the only person that was yelling and screaming on the plane. Everyone else was so zen and really? so, yeah, so relaxed. I was relaxed until we landed. Like, before we landed, when I thought it was really a possibility that we could die, I was like very like worried about everyone else and thinking, okay, if we are gonna go somewhere else, I wanna be alert so that I can see whatever is there, whatever it is. Right. And after that, they said we are landing in Hermosillo. We didn't even know where that was, and as soon as we landed, I exploded. I I couldn't stop crying and screaming for five hours. All the people that were with me, they didn't wanna listen to it anymore because they were there. They saw it. So I went and talked to all the strangers that I saw at the airport. <laughs> And they thought I was some crazy lady. And people were in a rush, traveling with their kids. They go, but let me tell you, I could have yeah. died. And, and <laughs> but from, from, from her description, it, it really was a serious situation. And it wasn't just like a little turbulence. You had real trouble. There. No, it was like the plan was going like this. Because what happens is that if they pressurization, if that happens and they don't take the plane down very, very fast, everyone Veins, including the pilot. That's right. So they did it, and I think they did a great job because now we're here and we can laugh at it yeah. and imitate each other. Right. But it's great to see all the different reactions from people. Sure. Yeah. Salma didn't react because she got <laughs> nervous and she got blocked. So she was feeling a cost immigration card. Uh -huh. thing. <laughs> she was like, and, and she looks up and she sees the mask and she just keeps writing. <laughs> and, and I was like, oh, I hope she doesn't get paralyzed from fear. And then she said she looked back again because 15 <laughs> seconds passed by and I hadn't spoken. Mm -hmm. And she thought that was very weird that mm -hmm. I didn't talk for so long. <laughs> and then she looked and then she looked. And I was wearing the mask and it was the mask <laughs> with the Halloween wigs and it was horrible. <laughs> but funny now, I'm so happy I can tell the yeah, story and yeah. we're... But it's, it's good. If, if you think you're going to die, you got to have your paperwork in order. <laughs> You don't want a, anything undone. 
Uh, now, this, uh, this movie, Sahara, we mentioned earlier, and you actually shot it in the Sahara Desert, and it, it's an action-adventure thing, and you were, lo were lost once in the desert, right? Yeah, I got lost once. It's like being lost at sea, really, isn't it? Yeah, I, I never thought about what that would feel like, and I was going to the set, it was 5 in the morning, I was sleeping in the back seat, and I woke up because I heard some weird, like, stressful... And I to my driver, sorry, are we okay? And... We didn't speak, I, I, we didn't understand each other. I look back, the security car was lost, mm. and we were in the middle of the desert, completely lost. Mm. He had a walkie-talkie, and I didn't understand what they were saying to each other. But the thing is, like, which kind of directions are you gonna get? Sure. I mean, we're north, it's sun, <laughs> south, sun. <laughs> so it was the, the feeling, I got so nervous because I'm very active that way, and I wanna be part of helping to resolve it, but because I didn't understand. I just said, you know what, I'm getting so nervous that I'm gonna go back to sleep. And <laughs> I trust you, wake me up when we get to the set. When I got to the set, they were all laughing in the trailer. They had to shoot without me. Those pigs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, let, let, let's see, uh, tell us about the clip we're gonna see here. Uh, the movie opens April 8th, by the way. Uh, what are we gonna see? You're gonna see one of my favorite scenes of the movie, which is the clip um, with the camels. We trained for two full months to do this scene that is like a two minute scene. And we, our goal is to get from the camels, being able to jump on the train in motion, and the train is gonna take us to, some, so, to a place that is very important for us to resolve our mystery and find what we're looking for. So when we see this, it's actually you jumping from the camel to the train. Yes, this is all us, uh, all the galloping 40 kilometers per hour and on top of the train, the only thing that is not me is the Little jump from the camel to the to the train, but after they saw me. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little. It's uh, Sahara opens April 8th, and this is the lovely Penelope Cruz. Thank you so Thank much you, for Dave. coming. I hope you come back. Thank you. Thank you.